everyone. Welcome to this week's review. I am Prue, and joining me as always is Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, it's the end of it's the end of the summer, man. Yeah, it is. Isn't that crazy? It totally is. Yeah, it is. I'm heading to your uh, your girlfriend's uh, college town tomorrow. Oh, really? Yep, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, <laughs> Ah, okay, interesting. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing in the middle of the country? I'm racing. Ah, okay. Right, that's fair. Yep. That's fair. Uh, enjoy it because there's not a lot in Nebraska to enjoy. No, there's not. So let's get into what we actually really like to enjoy. Game. Yes. Yeah, so what did we play this week? We played an old one. This actually, we have been playing a lot of new games. This is an older one. This is Octoon Cthulhu Tactics. Yeah. See, I knew I was going to say it wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. C- Cthulhu. Cthulhu Tactics. It's actually Octoon. It, because like there's an exclamation mark after the Octung. Yes. Sorry, I didn't. Octung. And then English words behind it. Yeah. So uh, it was published by Ripstone and developed by Aruk Digital. It was released November 23rd, 2018 for the low, low price of twenty four ninety five Or twenty four ninety nine. sorry. And it is a turn-based strategy game. Yes. So how familiar are you with turn-based strategy games? My history on turn base goes back to Final Fantasy Tactics, which was a fantastic game, and the original um, Valent Hearts, oh. which was on PlayStation as okay. well, which was uh, an M rated title back then because so, it had blood or digital blood. <laughs> um, okay, I, I think my origins go back to Advance Wars, and okay, um, I also played more more recently. Um, oh, uh, XCOM. Which this okay. this game? I don't. Have you played XCOM at all? I played XCOM, and I guess I couldn't get into XCOM. Yeah, I just just wasn't. Me. This this game plays remarkably um, like XCOM. This feels almost like an XCOM knockoff. I guess I would say, um, where you know, well, we already mentioned it's turn based strategy, so it's it's obviously you going and setting all your pieces on uh, the playing field, and you, you you do your attacks, and maybe you'll hit, maybe you'll miss. And then the enemy gets to attack you. Um, it's turn-based. It's it's strategy. It's it's if you've ever played any of those types of games that we've mentioned, it feels um, like it's not really uh, a stretch to say it plays similarly to all those games. It's not like this game is super innovative. It's very much in the mold of those games. I'd say uh, that would make sense. Then I, I mean I played a little bit of them, but they just didn't catch me. Kind of like Octoon <laughs> did not catch me. It just it just it seemed a little bland yeah i could see that okay um okay so you so the game is set in world war ii and you're fighting nazis which is the easiest ba- bad guys to fight against yep, but these because yep, everybody hates nazis. right right um but these are the type of nazis like in indiana jones or captain america or plenty of other uh pop culture where they're obsessed with the occult so they're trying to, uh, you know, dredge up things from the depth. And, and of course, there's a there's Nazi crossover with Lovecraft, so you get Cthulhu. Uh, basically, you're just fighting not supernatural Nazis. And you're just this squad of four people. And uh, you do these turn-based strategy battles against Nazis. I think I got which that right. Which is what I... Which, yeah, you got that right. That's what I experienced. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, it's... I think it's pretty good for that... Yeah, I think if you like the turn-based strategy, I mean, or that era of history, or pseudo-history, you probably would like it. I Like I said, I played more of the fantasy kind of tactical games. Sure. And I'm, I realize I'm not very good at these games. What about you? No, I'm, I am terrible at these games. I discovered this when I played XCOM, where I would get frustrated. I was playing on easy, and I would still lose. And I... I it is... It's definitely, a, it feels like a niche market sort of thing where people who are like, who are into those strategy games are really into those strategy games. But I get more frustrated than anything when I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in front of this guy with a shotgun. Why did I miss? Like I'm, I'm two yeah. squares away from this guy with the shotgun. I should not be missing. That's the whole point. At his back. Yeah. So he's facing the other direction yeah. and I still miss. So that's that, like, that's, I think that's part and parcel for the, the genre, but, um, you know, I, I, it's presented well. I think it's. I don't think it's a bad game by any means. Like no, no. Um, the only thing I actually a big complaint I had was in the tutorial too much is thrown at you too quickly. 
Yeah, it got really wordy and really confusing as to what I was supposed to do next. And I couldn't keep track of everything I had to remember. Yeah. There was a lot to remember. Yeah, because um, yeah, you, you, you have individual uh, party members who can grow levels. You have um, all these different tactics and all these different... Um, they have these different systems like uh, action points and momentum, I think it's called, as well as some other energy levels. Yeah, and stress. Stress, that's like what it was. the stress thing. Yep, yep. And it's all, like, in the tutorial, it's not like, in most tutorials, it's like, here's one concept, go and explore that concept, and then we'll introduce something else. It's more like, well, there's this system, this system, this system, this system, and uh, here, now, now go do your battle. And it's like, whoa, Yeah, and then too much. you get your stress level gets escalated, and you're like, what does that mean? Yeah. I don't remember what that yeah. means. So it's a little too, I think it's a little too dense up front, but I think fans of the genre will be comfortable with it. But anybody else, is a, it might be a little intimidating for them. Yes. Yeah, I would agree. Now, that being said, do you would you consider this an Achievement Hunters game? No. And why is that? For a that? couple of reasons. Um, <laughs> there is a unobtainable right correct yeah the it is it's one of those games that suffers from the get all the achievements get this achievement achievement which nobody has that achievement correct so thanks um so i got the sense that it's not a terribly long game i didn't get super far into it but i'd say i don't know maybe like a 12 hour game yeah probably about 12 hours if you knew it there's only 202 people that have played it which Maybe more people would play it if it was completable. I think once, the, in our community at least, if a game is deemed as you can't finish it, not a lot of people seem to touch it anymore. Yeah. So I think, um, I think it would be doable. It wouldn't even be that terrible um, if there was not an unobtainable. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because most of them are like kill. I mean, for achievement wise, a lot of them are seem very doable. Nothing real difficult. Right. Yeah, except it just seems to be that the one that you can't get is the, the one obta unobtainable is the one that uh, just doesn't work. It seems like. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's, this list is actually pretty decent. There's, let's see, uh, there's uh, thirty achievements, and it's thirty five hundred TA right now. Ex obviously, excluding the unobtainable. Ah oh oh, man, I I think if they fix it, it, I I can imagine that coming down quite a bit. Well, there's one that only one person has gotten, so that would put me in question as to how obtainable it really is, which is kill a Shogarth section entirely surrounded by other Shogarth or Shogoth sections. So I'm guessing that's a late game. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I did, for my four hours into the game, I don't know what the that is, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, I actually think this is actually probably a pretty decent game for people who are really big strategy fans. You have to like the strategy, the turn-based strategy, because yeah. I thought I was okay with it, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the presentation is is okay. It's decent. the The graphics aren't anything to be blown away by, but it's good for what you're doing. You're fighting Nazis and and monsters, and um, it feels it has that same vibe that XCOM has. I don't know. I just um, it wasn't. It didn't blow me away. It just felt like you, I think you mentioned really kind of generic or kind of middle of the road. Yeah, just kind of, eh. Yeah. Didn't do anything special. Didn't do anything bad. Didn't, anything, didn't do anything special either. Yeah, just doesn't s set itself apart from, from any yeah. of the other turn-based strategy games. So, um, it's 25 bucks. I. So, for that price, you might as well just play XCOM. Yeah, I would definitely say play XCOM. I, I, I got equally as frustrated as XCOM, but I had a lot more fun with XCOM. Yeah. Um, a little more polish. A lot, yeah, a lot more polish. But hey, if it's a steep discount, they fix the unobtainable, and uh, you're really into the genre, I'd say give it a shot. If it was fifteen bucks, ten bucks, yeah, why not? Yeah, I agree. All right. And that was Octoon Cthulhu Tactics. <laughs> <laughs>